getting ready to make homemade cornbread. Homemade cornbread. First, I'm going to start off by washing my hands. Getting my hands washed. Um, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving. And y'all know how that it can be. So let's wash our hands. Come on in. Let's wash our hands, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Let's wash our hands. Wash, wash our hands. Now, I'm going to dry my hands off. And then I'm going to get this party started. All right? We're going to get this party started right. Yep. Let's get it started right, honey. Let's make this cornbread. All right. I am going to double this recipe. So, the recipe calls for four cups of cornmeal, one cup of oil, two eggs, and buttermilk. But because I'm doubling, it, doubling the recipe... We're going to do two cups of oil first, okay? Got one. We're doing one cup, and I'm talking to you as we go. So don't say that's a lot of oil because you're getting double. This is a double recipe. Please listen. Please, y'all, don't don't make this video go viral if you don't want to. Y'all will make a video go viral quick. Two cups of oil. Because, honey, this is a school high pan. Y'all know that pan your grandmama used to use. So we're going to stick this pan in the oven, and we're going to go ahead on and let it be heating up. Getting it heated, honey. Yes. Yes, Lord. Let's go on and get it heated up. Now, I'm going to get my bowl down, my Halloween bowl, honey, because I'm already ready. And we're going to go ahead on and get into our cornmeal and add our ingredients for our cornbread, for our delicious cornbread. All right. So what I'm going to do is show you what I'm what cornmeal I'm using. I use pearl meal cornmeal mix. You can use it, you can use the buttermilk one, you can use the regular one. It doesn't matter. I use, both of them turn my dressing upside down. I ain't lying. Both of them whip my dressing right on into what it need to do. I have to cook about 15 pans of cornbread. So, hey, we're going to get started. We're going to do eight cups of cornmeal. Eight cups, because we're doubling the recipe, okay? So, it's going to be eight cups of cornmeal. Eight cups. Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead. Three, four, okay, five, six, we're going to do seven and eight. I'm coming right back. I hear my oil popping back there behind me. I need to make sure it's all right. We're going to come back and put the last two in there now. Because I need to make sure we all right. Seven. And then number eight. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then number eight. There you go. I had to shake my oil oh, go because I had not. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, baby. Yes. Okay, you're going to come on over here. There you go. You're going to get your two cups of buttermilk. You're going to take four of them because you're doubling your recipe. That's one. Two, three, and then number four. Four cups of buttermilk. All right, you're going to do your four cups. All right. Now, I want you to start breaking your eggs in a bowl. I break mine in a bowl just in case we got some bad eggs. One, we it's called for two eggs, but you're going to do four eggs, okay? Two, mm hmm you're going to do egg number three, 
Mm -hmm. One more. Do you want more egg? Make sure you got your right amount of eggs because your eggs is what's going to make it whip it and whip it real good, okay? Whip it real good, baby. Then go egg number four. There you go, baby. Shoot the dude. Yep. There you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. All right. We're going over there. We're going to get this oil out. We're going to bring this oil, okay? We're going to bring the two cups of oil, the two um cups of oil back in the pan. And we're going to pour that over in there with our cornmeal mix. Whoop. There you go right there, baby. You're going to pour it, honey. Yes, sir. You done pulled it in there now. You done gone and pulled it. Now, I'm going to show you this. This is optional. But one-fourth cup of sugar. So, I'm going to need two of them. I'm going to get another one. I pulled one in there. No, the cornbread is not going to be sweet. For the ones in the back of this bus, that cornbread is not going to be sweet, okay? Another one-fourth cup of cornmeal. Um, sugar. One fourth cup of sugar. You're gonna do two of them. No, it is not going to be sweet. Okay, I need you to stir. Start getting your clumps at your cornbread. Go get your clumps and lumps out the cornbread. Go ahead, whip it, baby. Whip it, whip it, Sally. Whip it, whip it real good. Good, whip it. I say you better whip it. So now that you know it's still thick. It's still thick now. That cornmeal thick right there. You got to add you two cups of water. You got to. Got to add you two cups of water to it. So I'm going to get my other measuring cup. And I'm coming back to give you two cups of water. All right. Get your two cups of water. You're going to get your two good strong cups of water, honey. One. Two cups. And now what I want you to do is I want you to get a spoon. And I want you to get all your goodness from right there at the bottom. Get all that goodness. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, baby. All that goodness from down there at the bottom. I want to see how that cornbread whipping now, baby. Oh, yeah. She done smooth that sucker. Ah, yes, sir. She done smooth that out, baby. Yes, sir. She got that thing whipping like she's supposed to whip it. Yes. She got it whipping like she's supposed to whip it now. Come on, Sally. Come through, Sally. Come through. That cornbread going to come through for you, honey. Baby, that's the best cornbread you ever can eat right here. I ain't lying. That's a good time in that bowl. That's a good time in that bowl right there. That's a good time. That is a good time in that bowl right there. Look at that. Look at the consistency of it now. Look at it. It was so thick, remember? Look at the consistency of it now. Baby, you got that thing right where you wanted it. You better get ready to pour that cornbread. You, you want your cornbread? Because I want mine. <laughs> All right, we're finna pour this cornbread up. Yes, sir. Look at that. I showing y'all. I want to show y'all the consistency of it. See the consistency of it? The consistency of it is amazing. It's excellent. It's good. So I got the consistency of it down packed. So now we're going to pour this cornmeal in there, baby, and get the bacon. Yes, we are. We're going to pour it so we can get the bacon. Look how I got a, I'm holding it like a baby child, like a whole baby on the street. I ain't lying. You, you don't want that cornbread. You want your cornbread balls. Yeah, I want my cornbread. Now do what grandma used to do. Take that hand and run around in there and clean that bowl. See, I ain't nothing on the corner of them bowls, baby. Take that hand and run around in there, baby. And you better bake, Sally. You better come through. You better come through. You better come through, honey. Look at that. There you go. That's your cornbread, sugar. Now, I'm going to wash my hands. 
Yes, I am. Shake that bread. And we finna get ready to bake that bread. Shake that bread and bake that bread. All right, she finna go in the oven for a hot 45 minutes to an hour. Yes, she is. And bake baby real gold brown and what pretty. Yes, she is. Oh, yes. You can't wait to see her, dear heart. Yes. She is all gas, no break. Look at that. There she is. This bread was Here great. I go. Look at that, baby. To save the day. Mighty that Mouse, baby. Yes. Bread. There okay. she is. Gold I brown and pretty, baby. Yes. Just came She's out ready. Of the oven. Baby. Hot and fresh. Pan she number 14. Look. Pan number one. I am about to The top top 14 more to go. Now we're going to butter the bread, baby, because you know, I just want them eggs to get right. I just want them to have that gold brown butter on. Stop playing with them. I can take this with, with a glass of butter. Stop playing with somebody, you grandma. Or you. And I this can go for what I know, so which is good. the good stuff. I can have me just a baby, piece this of cornbread with some butter Baby, this will make you the best cornbread dressing right here. Right. About now. Just a piece of cornbread with some butter. Oh, God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I'm just going to wait for it, Lord. You know, I'm she waiting for Thanksgiving a Day with a big pair of bells on sick. me. I ain't lying. Or she'll put it back That's in the a good oven time for right about five minutes and let it just That's run that water just right run there. right through. See how you I like mine. I want to go on my look at the That's all. That's how you And baby, see, me. Grandma, I'm gonna let her she would take right the cloth just and fold it over her and let it sweat a little bit more. Or either Little she would take it and stick it back up in the oven it. and let that Roll butter just melt nice down on it. But see me, I'm going to let mine sit right there on the countertop because it's still hot it up and let it just sweat it way through. You. And I want you to see how gold brown and pretty it's going to still be back. It's just not got that butter. Look at that butter. Now I want y'all to go on and get ready for y'all Thanksgiving and make y'all some homemade cornbread okay? Y'all enjoy, and I'll see y'all for Thanksgiving, all right? I want you to make you some homemade <laughs> cornbread Enjoy yourself, dressing, okay? and I'll see you for Thanksgiving. All right, that's what I want you to make. I'll see you for I Thanksgiving. Make about and the recipe is pinned on the back of this so, honey, video. And anytime you need a recipe, time to get drop down. in with cooking and chatting with Dirty Who Sally. Love y'all.